Hello everybody and happy Valentine's Day! It is the day of love, so I thought that it would be great to give some love to the Power BI team for all the work that they do. So the idea with this video is to show my appreciation for what they do and share the things that I love the most about Power BI. It would be great if you do the same, if you show your appreciations to them and also share the things that you love most in Power BI. You can do it on Twitter, on YouTube, anywhere. Just show them some love. They deserve it. So, first of all, <coughs> the number one feature, one of my favorite features of Power BI is the fact that it updates every month. It is a pain because, you know, sometimes things break, but hey, it is actually worth the damage control because it just makes so much fun working with Power BI. And I know that a lot of you also think that when it's a Power Week, <coughs> it is like Christmas. So fantastic work. Think about it, reflect about the actual work behind, you know, releasing features that millions of users use every month. I mean, the amount of work that it takes to, to do that and the skills. I don't even want to think about it. It is absolutely fantastic. So thank you Power BI team for making us feeling like child every month. It is fantastic. So with that aside, if we look at Power BI as a whole, for me, visualizations is one of the big things I love doing in Power BI and Power Query. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Power Query. It just, changed the way I work. It is not that I don't like DAX. DAX is, you know, like I love solving puzzles. So this is like my puzzle time, you know, when I'm doing it. But you know, when you're stressed and you have a lot of work, you don't want to necessarily do puzzles. And that's when DAX gets a little bit on your face. <laughs> Other than that, it is a fun challenge to do DAX actually. So, that is for Power BI desktop. One of the things that I think is absolutely fantastic about Power BI is that you, the work that you do gets properly shared with your colleagues, your customers, or whoever needs it. The fact that you can publish your reports to the web and share it, I think it is amazing. This is, you know, the capabilities of the cloud such a great and neat feature. You know, we're actually starting to unlock the power of data. And with all the artificial intelligence that Microsoft is going to put on into Power BI, <laughs> you can only imagine the things that we will be doing probably this year, to be honest. So really excited about that. When it comes to, you know, Power BI features as a whole, I think that Power BI Embed is actually very, very good because it allows you to take Power BI out of your organization and share it with others. I was doing a talk last week on Power BI for developers and, you know, I was gathering information to be able to be as precise as possible. And one of the things that I've talked about is if you have, for example, an Internet of Things product and, you know, at the end, what you are producing is data that has to be uh, share with your customers. And if you want to bring them some analytics yourself, uh, Power BI is absolutely fantastic because creating those visuals yourself, you know, creating BI from scratch, oh my Lord. But you can actually plug in Power BI into your Internet of Things, for example, and start sharing amazing reports and data right away. Of course, Power BI embeds cost money, but not what it used to cost. You know, it is cheaper than it's been ever. So it is a great, great feature. Now, more love, but this is like, you know, I, I've been, you know, I've thought about doing this video for a while, so I've been taking notes of, oh, this is so good. You know, every time I do a report, when I get excited about things, I've been writing it. So there are, of course, quite a few, and I won't bother you with all, but definitely, my top features. One of the features I absolutely love is the folders. 
both folders in Power Query and folders in Power Pivot in DAX. That makes everything so much easier because you can organize your model in a way that makes sense. It doesn't get cluttered and I absolutely love it. Another one, this is an easy one, but it's copy paste visuals or copy paste Power Query things. The one I'm missing is copy paste the DAX measures, but we're not talking about missing things here. We're talking about things we love. So you have no idea how productive I've become by copy pasting. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it, love it. Another thing that has been increased my productivity a lot is before you have to go to Power Query to actually filter things to say, okay, I'm getting weird results on my view. Why? You have to go to your data, right? To see what data is in there. Is it what I expected or not? And before I have to go to Power Query, now you can do that on the modeling tab. I absolutely love that feature. I use it all the time, all the time. The new headers format, lifesaver, seriously. You know, before when you try to, you know, make the report beautiful, which you should always try to do, it just, you couldn't fit the things where you wanted and it was so frustrating. It's not anymore. I absolutely love that feature. And, you know, Power Week is here and they released this cross filtering against highlighting so we can now cross filter everything by default. <gasps> I'm in love. I'm in love. That is absolutely fantastic. So again, I don't want to bother you with all the all, all, all the stuff I absolutely love about Power BI, but those are my top picks. So with that said, Power BI team, thank you very much. You are doing a fantastic job. For you guys that are looking and listening, make sure you give some love and attention to your loved ones. Today is the love day, okay? And uh, I'll see you again on Friday. Make sure you let the Power BI team know what your favorite features are. You can comment directly to them, comment here, and just show some love, okay? It is love day after all. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.